everybody, this is me and as you can see behind me, the donkeys are just currently having their breakfast. I'm just getting everything ready this morning because we've actually got a visitor today, which is very exciting. We've got Harry the miniature, miniature horse coming over and we're going to actually be having a tea party for him to spread awareness about the charity Brook. So I'm just going to finish off putting on some fly spray on the donkeys, putting their fly masks on, just so they're all nice and comfortable for the rest of the day. Such a beautiful day today, the sun is really out and shining. But the only thing that does mean is that the flies are going to be coming out, and that's not going to be nice for Bruno here, so I'm going to put some fly spray on him. Good boy. Okay, so it looks like Willow has now finished her breakfast, so we're going to let you out then, Willow. Put some spray on you as well. Yeah. Okay. Oh, sorry, Bruno. <laughs> Let's open up the door, shall we? There we go. Nope, she wants to stay in there, stay in the shade. It's already so hot this morning, isn't it? Okay, so now the donkeys are done, now it's time to do Mickey and Casper. We need to look our best and at the moment Mickey has a massive poo stain on his butt so Mickey I think we're gonna have to give you a bit of a clean so you're looking a little bit better than he is now he's also got a bit of a grassy mane so it now matches my top it's now all nice and green and we need to put some sun cream on you as well hey licky boy yeah you ready to get pampered ready for the party <laughs> yes in my face bits. <laughs> oh, goodness, okay. Should we, should we get you out then? Get you groomed, get you cleaned off. Oh, bless you, Mickey, you're sneezing all, all day today. Hey, eh? let's get your forelock through. You're very green. Oh, thanks. Water is supposed to be for giving you a bath, not drinking. I guess it comes from the same tap, but I, I don't think you... <laughs> he's drinking so much of it. Are you thirsty, boy? You had water in your stable. Obviously, it just doesn't taste as good as this water. Oh, have you got a scratch? Oh, he's slobbered all over his back leg now. Well, at least he's giving it a little bit of a, a little bit of a rinse, a pre-rinse before we give him an actual bath, eh? Hey? Hey? <laughs> so look at this guys, Mickey is absolutely filthy, I don't think any of you would want to go to a party with poo on your bum. So now we've got to wash this stain off, which is going to be a bit of a task, but I'll try my best. <laughs> okay, let's dampen our sponge, put a bit of purple slash blue slash violet sort of shampoo on. Okay Mick. So it's not looking too bad now, I might need to give it another little rinse on his butt here. But as you guys know that Harry the Miniature Pony is coming today and this is to spread awareness for Brooke. As I know a lot of you guys are doing my hackathon as well as myself, I'm actually almost finished, I've almost done my 100 miles. So other ways that you can also spread awareness or raise money for um, my hackathon or the Brooke charity is by doing like a bake sale or a tea party. So we're doing a little tea party with Harry today which should be a lot of fun. But there are also a lot of different ways that you could raise money such as if you go um, for a hack with all your friends you could share out the miles or um, 
or if it's your birthday coming up soon you could ask instead of for birthday money ask for donations to a charity and things like that so um mickey's butt is almost clean i just need to dry it off maybe give it one more rinse because there's still a little bit of stainage on there <laughs> So Mickey's tail was a bit yellow, it also was a little bit dirty, so I'm just going to give the ends a little bit of a wash, hopefully clean them up a little bit so he's not looking too dirty today. I've now finished off grooming Mickey and he's looking as clean as I possibly can get him for, you know, being Mickey and getting dirty very easily. So I'm just going to put on some sun cream now just to protect him against the sun on your little pink nose. <laughs> He's not the biggest fan. Hey. Put it on the side. There we go. Blub, blub, blub. Get those nostrils. <laughs> there we go. All nice and rubbed in. Hey, Mick. Good boy. So now the plan is to put all of his fly stuff on, so his fly mask and his fly rug. Not only to protect him against the flies, because I am going to turn him out, because the tea party isn't until like 11 o'clock, so we've got a little while until then. But also, because I have just bathed him, I would prefer him to stay clean. We will see, that probably won't happen, but at least it will give him a little bit of protection against all the mud and grass stains and things. So, should we get you ready then, Mix? Yeah? Good boy. Okay, should put your fly mask on then, Mickey. It is a little bit dirty, but you know, that's Mickey for you. <laughs> Get your little forelock through. Boop. This back on. <laughs> oh, sneezing boy. So Casper here has been a good boy and has decided not to roll in his poo. So he isn't actually too dirty. So I might just give him a quick little brush over, but I think he's pretty good to just put his fly stuff straight on. Hey? I think he's having a little sleep now. It's so warm. You having a bit of a kip? Yeah? Oh, Bobby. Good boy. Yeah, man. <laughs> Both boys now have all of their fly gear on, they've both been groomed. So I've actually put Mickey's head collar on just over the top because the last few days, every single day he has been getting his fly mask off, which is not great, especially for his blue eyes as well. So I've just put head collar on um, just so he doesn't get it off. Uh, but don't worry, Mickey will be keeping an eye on you, we'll be back soon. So I'm just going to release the beast, let him back into the field and the same with Casper as well. Now Casper's got all this fly stuff on, so there we go, bubs. Be free. Oh, I haven't done your forelock. There we go. <laughs> Bye, boys. See you later. See you at the tea party. Okay. So it's a bit of a mess in the horse's stables and you wouldn't really have poo in your living room when you're having a party. So I think I've got a lot of work to do here. <laughs> Now that was so satisfying, 
So this stable is now all done. This is actually the donkey stable, but because the donkeys are up in the summer paddock, this stable is going to actually kind of become Harry's for the day. So he's going to be the smallest equine on the yard, but he's going to get the biggest stable. So yeah, so it's all nice and clean for him. So after we've done some like filming and stuff for the tea party, you can come in here, have a little rest and that kind of thing. So now I'm going to go inside and have a big drink because it is so hot outside at the moment. So I've now come up to the donkeys field. I've just caught them. They've got their head collars on. So now we're just going to do um, a little bit of filming about Brooke and that kind of thing. Just do a little talky bit. So hey, hey Bruno. He loves his head scratches. He's definitely attention seeking. Oh, Willow's come over. He's got a nice new pink head collar on as well. So I'm going to press start on the teleprompter, okay. but obviously don't worry if you muck up because this is mm -hmm. only the first. Kenya support families by collecting food and water and getting their children to school. Look at Mickey, it's like what is going on? Or do you... <laughs> <laughs> okay, donkeys, let's go to the shall we? Okay. This way, Bruno. <laughs> oh, wow, look at all this. Yeah. Hello. Hi. So at the moment I'm just putting a little brook bandana on Toby. I think he's rocking it, especially with his matchy head collar. So I'm just tying a little bow on here. There we go, mate. You are looking like a cool dude. I'm just going to get some scissors and just trim the bow tie. Willow's also got, she's got a little sort of um, bandana around her neck here. I think she's wearing it very fashionably. Are you, daddy? Yeah. made some little cakes, well horse cakes, for our tea party for Brooke. I think Casper is really wanting to try it so I'm going to give him a little bit later. Not right now because I'm not quite finished but I hope they save me a little bit for later because, you know, looks quite tasty doesn't it? Okay, you can have a teeny bit of... So I've just put on Mickey's bandana. I think he looks very fetching in it. I think it actually suits him pretty well. I've never seen orange on Mickey but it's looking pretty good. Yeah. He's very excited about the tea party. He's already going for a lick attack. He's very excited. Yeah? Are you excited for your cake later, Mickey boy? <laughs> Yummy. Same as my mum. Yummy. Mum's not allowed to get in. What's this? It's a bandana. Good boy. There we go. It might not be squished, please. That would be much appreciated. There we go. You're going to be looking dashing in this way. You're looking very fetching. Can we get all the ladies with this on? Yeah. Okay, time to give them their little treat. <laughs> oh goodness. <laughs> I'm being attacked from all angles. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, bye. Harry has now arrived, he's in the trailer, so I'm gonna go and let him out now. I think he's gonna be very excited for the Brook Tea Party. So, let's undo the clips. <gasps> Hello! Oh my goodness, he's so cute! Hello! I wanna take him home and keep him forever. <laughs> Oh my goodness, it's nice to meet you again. I think I saw you at Olympia. Hello. Shall we let you out then? I love your orange leaf group. Come on in. You excited to meet all the donkeys and Mickey and Casper? Now Harry has arrived, he needs to get ready for the party and put on his special party wear. So we're going to have Maz over here that's kindly going to dress him and get him ready. He's got, got his little brick rug to put on. Okay. He's so sweet. Oh my goodness, he's got really tiny ears as well, because I'm so used to having the donkeys. They're the smallest animals, but they have the longest ears. Okay. There we go. 
Oh, you look incredible, Harry. There we go. Matchy matchy as well with the lead rope. Okay, come on then. Come on, Harry. No, he's just fine now. Yeah. He's more like monsters. Yeah. Hey. Do you want to come meet Casper and Mickey? Oh, hello. You're making friends. Oh. Come on, then. Should we meet, meet, meet Mickey as well? Hey, Mickey. I've got a friend for you. Excitement, and then we've got the donkeys in there, and you can meet them later, okay, Harry? Should we get ready for our tea party then? Yeah? <laughs> so we've got Harry here, we've got Mickey and Casper, and they've both got their little bandanas on. So I think it's now time for the tea party to start. Who wants some cake? <laughs> Today we've decided to have a little tea party with Harry here and to do this uh, to help you fundraise for Brooke. You might not have a mini pony like him of your own but between you and some friends and family it's easy to bake some cakes and have a cake sale to go towards your £100 target. They're all trying to eat the table. So today has been a bit of chaos and we've also filmed a behind the scenes video that's going out on the Brook YouTube channel so be sure to subscribe to that because also later on the year I'm actually going to be going to Senegal with them and seeing some of the work they do so be sure to subscribe to the Brook YouTube channel and I'll leave a link in the description below. Up on here. So come over here. Hey Mickey, no. If I put that in there, looking fab. Oh, Mickey! I'm trying to put the bunting up. Don't, don't destroy it. There you go. Oh, thing. Look. Like standing on here? Three, two, one. So I've got my tea, I think Casper's definitely ready for some cake, we've got some lovely horse cakes here, we've got some Victoria sponge, we've got some other lovely treats here, so I think it's time to let out the donkeys and let everyone have a bit of a tea party. Time to let out the donkeys. Okay, it's party time boys. Bruno's out. Oh. <laughs> I think they're a bit scared of Harry, I'm not too sure about him. Maybe if I come and sit here with some carrots. Harry, would you like a carrot? Yay! Mickey wants a carrot. Oh, Willow's coming out. Hey, Willie. They're really not too sure about Harry. It's a new friend. I think they're a little bit shy, guys. Good girl. There we go. Got a whole carrot. There you go. So you're the guest. You can have a. So you can have another carrot. Bruno. Bruno. Harry's getting all the carrots, guys. Hey, Gas, would you like a carrot? You've got your little sun hat on, haven't you? Little bandana. Oh, it's fallen down a bit. Let me pop that back up for you. Hey. Okay, so now it's time to give Mickey his cake. So here you go, Mickey. There we go. Don't eat the wrapper. He's down that. No, 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 not the Victoria sponge. Okay, it's Casper's turn now. It's your cake. So yummy. Making a bit of a mess, aren't you? <laughs> Shall we move a little bit closer? There we go, we've got some apple. That's lovely, isn't it? Mmm, very lovely. So I've now got my tea and I've got my cake as well. I'm just enjoying my afternoon tea here. Casper, you've already had your cake. As you can see, both horses have very much enjoyed their cake down here. They've made a little bit of a mess. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna have my cake now. Mmm, <laughs> yummy. You've already had yours, crispy. Yes. No, you can't have the tea. I'm enjoying your afternoon tea as well, Bruno. I've got a carrot here for you. <laughs> Gotta eat it off the table though. Polite polite dinner manners, please, boys. We've got we've got a special guest here today. You need some good good table manners today. <laughs> here we go. Have 
have any of the cake. Carrot. Okay guys, I have had so much fun today doing our little donkey and pony tea party. So if you'd like to check out Brooke then I will leave a link in the description below. It's for such a good cause. Anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you're new or have not done so already, be sure to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching today's video and I'll see you all next time. Bye! <laughs> They're still eating. They're still licking the tablecloth. <laughs> there we go.